Um, originally I'm from Montreal and I'm studying at U of T and doing my Masters of Architecture and uh, I heard about Sukaville from a friend of mine who had done it last year and th thought it was an incredible experience. Um, first of all, I had no idea what a suka was. <laughs> this, uh, this pattern was something I actually worked a lot on. It was because um, uh, they're all equilateral triangles and it creates this sense of balance. Um, and it was uh, through one of my projects at school, I actually like, did a lot of research into it and decided to use what I learned in that project into this competition. I really didn't think I was going to win, <laughs> and then I did, and now I have to actually build it, <laughs> which has been completely different than what I thought. Uh, but probably the best part about this competition uh, was actually getting to build something that you design and realizing how difficult it actually is to put these triangles together. winner it is awarded to God's eye structure is reuska and the idea is to reuse materials and sort of show the weaving of old and new I guess you know looking for the beauty in the old a lot of the wood is from some are pallets some are from ripped apart shipping crates some is from a salvage company in our town uh, old houses that have been de deconstructed and sort of re finishing, resurfacing them, I guess, and then reusing them. Um, and then there's some new wood that was just used to sort of fill the gap. When I look around, I think, how many ways can you design a box? And obviously, there are many ways you can design a box. How many ways can you provide affordable housing? Unfortunately, very few, especially today. The Sukkot Hall was held to raise funds and awareness in support of the one of the most pressing social issues of our time. Simple, decent, affordable housing for all people. The Sukkotville Design Competition, as we can all see, is all about bursting limits. So we look at these amazing designs, and as we do so, let's not only focus on the extent to which extremely talented and creative people can burst aesthetic limits, let's also think about what we all can do to burst the limits of conventional wisdom about what's possible to do for each other to make society a healthier, stronger, and safer one for all of us where everybody has a decent place to live. Thank you.